My understanding of God before I personally knew Him as my Lord and Savior was that of a distant, non-personal God. It's like my relationship with the President of the Philippines. I knew of Him, but He likely didn't know me. I thought that I could be only in God's presence or have Him involved in my life when I prayed or went to church. It was a very impersonal relationship. And this view of God, plus a series of unfortunate events, led me to seek purpose and meaning in my perpetually busy life. I was constantly pursuing significance in the wrong places. I looked for validation through my career, different relationship, and accumulation of wealth. And this lifestyle of being all about me left me feeling empty. It was at this point that my fraternity batchmates at UP invited me to a Bible study in 1997. This marked the beginning of my spiritual journey as I learned more about Jesus as a personal God. During a single street retreat, I surrendered my life to Jesus and was baptized. And I began to see Jesus in a different light. What amazed me was His pure and perfect love for me. And He was involved in every single detail of my life. My mind struggled to comprehend this incredible love because it felt as if all His love was being poured and focused on me as if I was the only person. His love is always 100%. It's mind-boggling. And this realization transformed my life in ways I could have never imagined. The more I understood His unfathomable love, the more I wanted to love Him back. The more I wanted to obey and honor Him. That's why I was discipled and I started to disciple others. And together with other singles, God used us to start the big ministry which has become global in its reach and currently, I'm also blessed that God has given me the privilege of shepherding His flock in a CCF satellite. Truly, there are no limits to where God's faithfulness will take you.